Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Um, it was basically about late in the day, and I was almost on my way going home. Um, just finished recording the Holy Grail. You guys will be able to see that later. And I saw the winner, um, Shin In Hong. I'm not saying, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but um, here's basically how his name is spelled, just in case anybody wanted to know. And we talked, I saw a couple of guys talking to him, a Yugi tuber, a very famous Yugi tuber. I do not know your name on the spot. I think his name is, it, it's something with an I. I don't remember. It's Ichigo. It's something like that. Amazing guy, just to let you guys know. And I actually got pretty much of a deck list of what he was running for Worlds. I didn't, obviously, we, he couldn't sit down and just show us the deck. So he basically told us to us. And basically, we're going to go through the interesting text. Mainly because he said that his dragon build, the dragons were all the same. It was pretty standard. So obviously the three blaster, um, the two burner. He chose the Corsica over the uh, Flame Veil Guard. He ran Eclipse Wyvern in this build, which was, in my opinion, it's probably the most excellent play. He decided to run two Effect Veilers because he felt three would be cloggy at the time. Um, he also felt that it, I guess it wasn't so great against Prophecy, or I don't, I really don't understand, but that's what he said. Um, Light and Darkness Dragon, he said he ran that because obviously the, the Eclipse Wyvern. Um, I'm not sure about the t if he ran two lightnings. This is probably one of the only errors I had to kind of piece together of the text that he ran together with the rest of the deck to get it. But I'm not sure if he ran one or two lightnings. Um, he did run triple maxi, um, double rectin, of course, double triple uh, red ox, double droplets. You know, just the standard stuff. Um, one book of moon. Now, an interesting thing he said he decided to run was dragon's ravine, and. It was very, he said, he said he liked it pretty much. It got through his plays. It helped him with the super rejuve. He said it was a really good card and that he, he loved it. Um, Forbidden Chalice, he, he said that he ran those, which is an interesting tech. It goes very well with Light and Darkness Dragon. When you want to do your stuff, you activate a card, then you chain Chalice to negate your Light and Darkness. Then you, you know, you can do whatever your plays. He ran Heavy Storm, Two Sacred Swords, um, and Triple Super Rejuve. Now, as you guys can notice, it's it's an important card missing from here. It's actually two two to three important cards. He probably could have ran the Monster Reborn, actually, instead of the drafts. I'm not 100% sure. He probably did. But um, the two important cards that he's completely missing is Gold Sark and Dark Hole. Now, as you guys can see in my later videos, um, the other Elemental Dragons players will be running this. He decided to run out of them. Mainly, he, he decided not to use Gold Sark is because he felt that mid to late game, Gold Sark wasn't such a great card. So, basically, that was that was his thing about not running Gold Sark, and it obviously worked out for him because he won. He also mainboarded two Vanity's Emptiness. Now, on for his side deck, all of this is accurate until the... I'll tell you when, obviously. He said he mainboarded the two electric virus the or he sideboarded i'm sorry two swift scarecrow and very interestingly would actually i believe won him the game in uh in worlds was card destruction he sideboarded card destruction and you know I, I for my guess it would probably be because he obviously wants to go into his plays faster he wants to try to deck them out and and it's not really so hot against prophecy it's not the best thing since sliced bread against prophecy allowing him to get rid of a bad hand and draw a good hand or to get rid of spellbooks and grave by their turn one he uh sideboard a triple typhoon but he said that he only he really only used two at a time sometimes or he only put in two um it was kind of rough getting exactly what he said i was basically texting what he was saying and it was hard to keep up um two dna surgery now after this he said it's just standard side and standard extra deck so the double erad and a lot of people were running last day of the witch for um their sideboard um obviously this is basically pure speculation again but this is he said standard extra so i'm going to give you guys basically the standard extra which would be catastrophe you never know when you can hit it armory arm you never know when you can hit it colossal fighter crimson blader uh red dragon archfiend i've seen this card being played by um a couple of people in worlds that actually played it it was pretty good it's also an erat target if all those fails um scrap dragon um, Thought Ruler Archfiend, another amazing card that I, I could have sworn I've seen a couple of people play, but if they aren't, then it's still an amazing card because, let's say, uh, the the mirror matches and especially the prophecy, prophecy matchup take up time. Later on in the game, if you can pull out Red Dragon Archfiend, it can, it can turn the tide if you're playing time to give you those additional life points to win in time. Um, the Gaia Charger, 
the Mecca Phantom Beach Draco sack, triple big eye is what I was seeing from a lot of players. And this Lucky 7, which is amazing because um, it was Japan versus, I want to say, it, Thailand. Or it was it was either or. I, I'm, I'm pretty confused. It was I know it was Japan versus somebody else. And the Japan player summoned Lucky 7 straight. And then the other player, he big eyed the Lucky 7 straight. And then basically got the graceful charity effect, which is draw three cards, then discard two. And proceeded to go like just ham on that deck. And, you know, I just felt that it should be a good card in this deck because of that, you know, choice. You have the room. Why not? Um, thank you guys for watching the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy.